Hey guys, so Jennifer Lopez shared love letters of Ben Affleck to her music authors, uh, songwriters, where when she worked at her new album. And some people actually said it's outrageous, it's invasive, and reports are saying that Ben Affleck was extremely upset about that. Um, and I want to say one thing. I mean, what's wrong with her trying to motivate people? I don't understand that. And uh, of course, probably, probably, should have said something to Ben. Like, uh, can I share this with, with people? Because they two public personas. For me, it was like, okay, what's wrong with that? They shared everything. Like, we know about their life more than they do, probably. Like, paparazzi sh chasing them all the time. We can, like, if we actually uh, wanna know about JLo's every day, we can look it up online. So for her to share it, not with press, but with uh, close f friends of hers, like musicians and songwriters, uh, to share this uh, love letters, to motivate them, to write something uh, about their relationship on her new album was maybe not the right thing to do, but it was okay thing to do. I wouldn't have anything about it. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't even make a big deal about it. Uh, and I'm shocked that Matt like actually thinks that it was was bad at least what reports are saying i don't know what he actually thinks uh privately because we haven't heard of him like actually speaking about it like oh i hate what jlo did and, like i know <laughs> she didn't have said anything bad about it so we can all only speculate based on different uh articles that right now in the press so according to variety who recently published a profile on jlo van is discussed throughout the documentary which will delve into the behind the scenes process of making This Is Me Now. At one point, the outlet notes that Jen addressed all the boss around Ben, appearing unhappy and cranky around her, uh, namely at the 2023 Grammy Awards. In the documentary, actor Jane Fonda tells Jen, uh, I got real scared, you know, with all that stuff uh, about the Grammys and he looks unhappy and I'm like, oh my God, what's happening? To which J Lo replied, "Nothing. He was like, I've become the symbol of, of the beleaguered man. Uh, so that's what it's all about. I mean, like, I think Ben is unhappy for some reason, and um, I don't know why. Like, you know, like you actually dating and uh, married to to a woman who's in the public eye all the time, and she wants to stay in the public eye all the time. She wants to make something that make people around the world talking about. And this is me now. It's about." Uh, the chapter of your life, uh, of her life, basically, um, when she was like indecisive at first, but then she decided to to to, to settle down with Ben Affleck after few not successful marriages for J Lo, for a not extremely successful marriage uh, of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner. So right now she realized that's a good motivation, that's a good thing to do to to release this album, this me now. And she basically said that the band was the one who inspired her to do this album. And not only to release this album, to release the documentary, um, this me now documentary. So I don't understand why Ben is upset. I mean, right now, a lot of uh, tabloids are talking about that, but also like on, in her documentary, Jane Fonda asked, uh, Jennifer Lopez, basically what is going on with Ben. Variety also reports that Jennifer invites a bunch of musicians over to look through a collection of love letters Ben had written in a bit to inspire them. Ben then purportedly walks into the room and sees his letters spread out with Variety knowing that he appeared taken aback by Jen having shared his pieces. He said, I did really find the beauty and the poetry and the irony in the fact that it's a greatest love story never told. If you're making a record about it, that seems kind of like telling it. I agree with what he's saying publicly. Like, uh, right now on the on the documentary, he said that, yeah, it was fine to him. Like, why people think that he was upset? I don't understand. So at one point of the documentary, he says, things uh, that are private, I always felt are sec sacred and special because in part they're private. So a few ex users, formerly known as Twitter, admitted that it was invasive to share this public love letters. Uh, and uh, of course, press continue with the story, actually saying that Ben was really upset. I mean, he said some words about it in a documentary, but again, he didn't publicly address that it was like outrageous and say something like, uh, oh, it was bad, it was really bad. I mean, I'm sure like if it's J-Lo, uh, J-Lo actually asked Ben, like, 
can I do it? Can I share these photos with the musicians uh, that I want to write some songs with? Uh, I don't think Ben was like upset and shocked by that, uh, as some Twitter users were. Sharing personal love letters with a bunch of people without the writer's permission seems like a very weird thing to do. One person wrote, I literally cannot imagine sharing love letters with strangers. This is so invasive. Uh, yeah, if you put it this way, but I, I don't necessarily agree that she shared without permission of Ben, even though a lot of things suggest that she did, but uh, I don't think so. I think that she actually asked Ben. That's my opinion. Um, other than that, I don't like necessarily agree with her what she did, but I can agree that it can motivate musicians, and they're still in the public eye. Whatever Ben was saying, like, we still kind of know what he was saying and when she shared this letter so we kind of know what the, what it's all about like i love you i believe in you you know like simple words nothing was really special the band <laughs> didn't say anything that was like unusual you know for us like be like oh my god what happened what just ben just did or what just said you know <laughs> so for me it was like all right she shared that i mean apparently ben wasn't happy with that because he wanted to keep things private between them <laughs> Again, like, I didn't hear him actually publicly saying that. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, people are extremely upset about everything nowadays. I think it's not a right topic to be upset about it. And uh, I, I'm sure it's not, It's just such a minor thing. They can handle everything. They can handle everything. If they could uh, survive uh, <laughs> all these years, uh, like they say right now, secretly love each other all these years, even though they were with different people. Uh, so. They can definitely survive through that. Uh, let's discuss what do you think. I want to know your thoughts about the situation. Do you agree with me or you agree more with Variety or with uh, some X users that just share their comments uh, in this video? Or if you have your own opinion, share it. Uh, and also, if you like this video, uh, please, uh, if you have, especially if you have like a little bit of your time, please share this video with your friends. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Um, comment on this video on the notification button because it helps this video to grow like this channel to grow this video to have more views because um, that's how YouTube algorithms work uh, if you like the content it's better for you to show the activity uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one